Dozens of cargo ships have been stranded at the port of Djibouti for days. They fear coming under attack by Yemen's Houthis. Many don't know when they will have security clearance to enter the Red Sea. Houthi attacks have brought the maritime traffic here to a near standstill. The chairman of the Djibouti Ports and Free Zones Authority is worried. He says doing business with Israel is challenging these days. They have to convince the shipping lines to say we are not going to attack you if you are not carrying Israeli cargo, if you are not going to Israeli ports. Already uh, a lot of ports, traffic collapsed, 85%. So uh, they have to really pass this message and the shipping uh, lines, the major shipping lines, have to be convinced. Djibouti's economy relies on maritime trade. With four ports, it is regarded as one of the most important transit countries. Transshipment is going to be affected. And this is a big part of our business. And we invested a lot to attract transshipment in Djibouti ports. Houthi attacks on commercial vessels in the region have forced some of the world's largest shipping companies to suspend operations in the Red Sea. They have rerouted ships around the southern tip of Africa. That has significantly increased fuel and insurance costs and caused delivery delays of up to 10 days. East African countries were already facing challenges. Many ports are not functioning as a result of civil war and conflicts. Now Sudan, Port Sudan is down. So what's left to Africa to trade with the rest of the world? All Somali ports are closed or uh, trading on a small scale. Eritrean ports are closed. Assam is closed. Masawa is working only for Ethiopian and Eritrean uh, economy. So we have very huge challenge already before this crisis. More than 12% of global maritime trade passes through Bab el Mandeb. The U.S. has formed a multinational task force to protect vessels and keep the strait open. To safeguard this vital maritime route that connects the Gulf of Aden to the Red Sea, the United States is increasing its naval presence here. Behind me, in the port of Djibouti, a missile-guided destroyer, the USS Mason, is refueling before embarking on its next mission. It was attacked in the Red Sea in November and December. The U.S. accuses Houthis of trying to block the maritime route, but Houthis say they are only targeting the ships linked to Israel. Resul Serdar, Al Jazeera, Djibouti. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.